Welcome to the VMware vSphere 6.0 vMotion product demonstration. This is the second video in the series, and in this, we will demonstrate how to vMotion across vCenter instances. Let's take a scenario where we have two instances of vCenter due to the scalability limits that a single instance can support. Previously, a pool of compute resources was constrained to a single vCenter instance, and it was very difficult to move a VM to another vCenter instance. With cross vCenter vMotion, this limitation is removed. We start the demo at the vSphere web client home screen. Here, we have two vCenter instances with two clusters each. On each vCenter instance, we have a separate distributed virtual switch. We have the ability to change the virtual switch and assign a port group during the vMotion. We will now migrate VMs from one vCenter instance to the second without impacting the services running on the VMs. We will not be moving virtual storage disks, as all hosts across the vCenter servers share a VMFS data store. However, it should be noted that shared storage is not a requirement. If shared storage is not available, an enhanced vMotion will be performed. This is also known as XVMotion, or vMotion without shared storage. To perform a cross vCenter vMotion using the vSphere web client, we begin by right-clicking on the VM we would like to migrate and choose Migrate from the context menu. On the next screen, select Change VM Compute Resource Only and click Next. Then choose a compute resource to run the virtual machines. In this case, we select HQ Cluster 3 and click Next. On the Destination Folder page, select the destination host you want the VM to migrate to and click Next. On the next screen, Select the destination network for the VM. This will attach the VM to the port group on the distributed switch in the destination vCenter server. Choose the destination network from the drop down menu and then click Next. Select Schedule vMotion with high priority and then click Next. At the summary screen, verify the information and click Finish. You can monitor the progress in the Recent Tasks column. Refresh the page to update the view and see that the vMotion process is complete. The VM is now connected to the port group that is assigned to the distributed switch on the second vCenter server. You can confirm this by looking at the properties of the VM and distributed switch on the second vCenter server. It should be noted that layer two connectivity needs to exist on the virtual machine port groups between the vCenter virtual switches. This is because the virtual machine network settings will not change as part of the vMotion operation. This concludes the demonstration on how to perform a cross vCenter vMotion. Thank you.